A double yarn over or yarn over twice creates two stitches and makes for larger holes in your knitting as opposed to a single yarn over. Here are the single yarn overs and here is a nice large double yarn over. So I'm going to be demonstrating how to do double yarn overs for both western and continental knitters and I'll show them between knit stitches and purl stitches. So let's start on the right side of the fabric and we're going to do it between knit stitches. So I'll knit a few stitches here. And for western style knitters, to make the double yarn over, we're going to bring the working yarn to the front of the work. And then we're going to come over the top of the needle, back around to the front, and keep it here in the front. And then work our next knit stitch. As I do that, you can see that this yarn held to the front needs to travel its last time over the right hand needle. And now I have, here is my double yarn over followed by the knit stitch. So let's try that again. So now to do the double yarn over, I'll bring my working yarn between the knitting needles over the right hand needle and behind it and back around to the front and keep it here in the front, kind of underneath that needle. Um, and then I'll go ahead and knit that next stitch. Now let me get my hand set up and I'll show you how a continental knitter would do it. Continental knitters are, are lucky in that yarn overs are made the same way each and every time. They will scoop up the working yarn for one yarn over and for a double yarn over, just scoop it over again. You'll do this regardless of whether a knit or a purl stitch follows that double yarn over. So now I'm going to get to the end of the needle and we'll turn to the wrong side and we'll see how we handle these double yarn overs on the wrong side. So here I am purling on the wrong side of my work. And when I get to a double yarn over, I have to treat them just a little bit differently than I would normal stitches, normal yarn overs. So here's my double yarn over. You can see two sort of drapes over the needle. Now when you get to the double yarn over, in order to maintain the two stitches, we need to treat each one differently, meaning each stitch needs to be worked and it's a different type of stitch. So I'll show you some of the common things that are done. Very often you may purl the first stitch in the double yarn over and then knit the second one. So two completely different stitches that allow them to maintain that there are two stitches. So then I'll purl to the next little group here and then I'm going to go ahead and do another version of how we handle a double yarn over on the wrong side. We might purl the first stitch and then purl the second one through the back loop. So I have to come behind it and over to the front. And I have a video on purling through the back loop if you need a little help with that. And I'm just going to purl to this last one. Now, even though continental knitters hold their yarn differently, they're going to do exactly the same thing as Western style knitters. They will purl, uh, get my hands set up continental here. And you may, let's say, purl the first stitch and then maybe knit the second one. So same thing for uh, continental knitters as western style knitters, we just need to treat the stitches differently. So um, let me finish this row here and then we will um, work a double yarn over and I'll show you how they're most often worked with when they're paired with some decreases because this way it'll help the stitch count stay maintained. So I'm going to knit to the spot where I would like a double yarn over. And usually they would do, maybe a pattern would call for a knit two together. And we are on the knit side of the fabric. And then I'd work my double yarn over. 
under the needle, over the top, and back around to the front. And if my next stitch was an SSK, well, that is still considered a knit stitch. So I worked my double yarn over as if I had a knit stitch after, because I do. And then I can go ahead and work that again. So I'll show you a double yarn over one more time. This time I think I'll turn my needles this way, maybe that for a different angle. Go under the needle, over the top, and back around to the front. And then knit the next stitch. Now I'd like to show you how to make a double yarn over between purl stitches or on the purl side of the fabric. So you would purl to the spot where you would like the double yarn over. And for Western style knitters, it's made essentially the same. Your working yarn will come over the needle, back around to the front, but because a purl stitch follows, we're going to wrap one more time over the needle and come right back around to the front. So you can see that I had to manufacture or make the two double yarn overs. My working yarn remains in the front so that I can work my next purl stitch. For continental knitters, to do a double yarn over between two purl stitches is exactly the same as you make any yarn over. Just scoop up your yarn once, scoop up your yarn twice, and then go into your purl stitch. When we get to the right side, or the knit side of the fabric, then these yarn overs will be handled the same way that they were when we were on the wrong side. We're going to have to work them in two different stitches um, so that we can make sure that those nice yarn overs, both of them, stay. So perhaps on this side we might knit the first one and purl the second one, whatever your pattern directs you to do. But there you have how to make double yarn overs. Happy knitting!